Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I thought we would do one out of Summer Nights. And this is the page that I have chosen for today. It's a nice kind of end, towards the end of summer now. Um, and I thought this page would kind of be good for a nice August day coloring. And I wanted to use a color along prompt uh, from over on Instagram. It's called hashtag garden color along 22. And it's hosted by at Mary Full Colors. And I'll put a link to that or the information for that down below in the description box if you wanna check out uh, that color along over on Instagram. Anyway, I thought today would be good to break out my polychromos, which don't, honestly, they don't get a lot of love. I've had them for a long time and hardly ever use them. Also, um, for the flower petals and the leaves, I thought it would be nice to use a Tombow water-based brush pen base. Um, just for those portions of the leaves and hopefully it'll make the coloring go a little bit quicker. Um, I just, yeah, I've been doing a lot of portraits and ladies lately and I just kind of wanted to do something that was a little bit more chill and <laughs> relaxing. Um, and what better than gorgeous sunny sunflowers. All right, so let's go ahead and get going. All right, so I am starting with applying just a little bit of a base with my Tombow brush pen. And this one uh, is number 062, and it's from the set of pastel colors. I'll put a link to that down below if it's one that you might be interested in purchasing. It comes with a lot of pastel colors that are great for making base layers or just coloring in general. Um, so as you can see, I am coloring in the base here of the petals, but I am not extending it all the way uh, to the edge, to the outer edge and tips of the petals because I want those to be even lighter than that yellow color. So when I go in to color these pencil <laughs> petals with my pencils, I will make it darkest at the base and lightest towards the tips and outer edges of the petals. And I'm going to pretty much follow that concept for the leaves as well. So here I am using the Tombow Brush Pen 192 and this particular pen is from the Landscape set which like the pastel set I will put a link to down below. And basically I'm just um, filling in where I will probably have my darkest colors uh, of for the leaves.
Okay, so we've got our little base layer uh, with our Tombow um, brush pins. And so before we go uh, too much further, I'm gonna take this time right now to go ahead and um, do the background. And I'm going to do them with these Kamarebi watercolor paint set. And these are a budget brand set of paints, but I like them. Uh, I don't have a problem with them. They do dry kind of rough, but um, I really like the colors. So, um, and they're easy to use. And they've got, um, I've, I've had them in several videos before and my tray is actually quite messy so I apologize for that I, I I think I put them away a couple times while they were still wet uh, yeah anyway so um, they're pretty easy to use and they got this handy chart uh, swatch chart right um, on the lid here and they have metallic colors as well so I was thinking for the background on this, I was going to use like olive green, uh, brilliant yellow, maybe some lemon yellow and metallic yellow. Um, possibly maybe a little bit of burnt umber or yellow ochre, maybe yellow ochre. Yeah. Um, so I kind of want it to have kind of a, I don't know, olive green, brownish yellowish color <laughs> if that makes sense so um all right we'll go ahead and get going with that okay so here i am just adding a little bit of clean water to my watercolors just to start activating them and getting them loosened up and ready to use So I went ahead and started the background off camera just a little bit just to make sure that this um, color choice was going to work out okay. And I feel like it looks, so, it looks okay so far. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with using these colors. And I will list them down below so you know exactly which, uh, I think it was one, two, three five four or five colors that I was using and that way you could uh, potentially follow along um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be the same brand of watercolor uh, you could be using a different brand with some similar colors uh, that would work just fine as well
Alright, so here I am starting to add in that yellow metallic color. Uh, you could also use a uh, gold metallic color um, and just uh, basically applying it in little splotches around there in the background.
Okay, so here I have already laid down the walnut color. Uh, so now I am going in with the second color for these flower centers, which is nougat.
Okay, so after doing a few more of these petals, I just wanted to check in with you um, and let you know the colors that I am using, um, I kind of narrowed it down to brown ochre, walnut brown, terracotta, dark Naples ochre, and cream and I have these listed down below but what um, I've done is I started like um, like I showed you with these ones down here uh, with the um, ochre brown ochre and the Naples yellow and then throwing in some terracotta uh, just to put a little bit of orange in there and then going around the outside edges with the cream and blending it in just a little bit. Um, but then what I have been doing is I felt like it needed a lot more definition. So I've been going back in with the walnut brown here and just kind of um, along these lines here that she had uh, drawn in and where you see a petal overlapping another one just to give it some shadow kind of underneath that and a little bit down here at at the base where it comes in um, at the base of the petal there just to give it a little bit more depth and more of a realistic look i suppose um yeah and then yeah, just in these um, shadow areas here. And along these lines. Yeah, I think that that really helped it out a little too. Um, and then I am going in, I just, I did a few petals to see how it would look. Um, I'm outlining the outside of the petal here. And you don't have to do this if, if you don't have the uh, Thule Art pens. Uh, you don't have to do that. Um, but all I'm doing is outlining the outside of the petal and I'm not even bringing it all the way in. I'm just kind of uh, bringing it into where the two petals meet and then just extending it just a little bit beyond that. But this is the Thule Art paint pen from the um, assorted 30 assorted colors um, set here the extra fine tip and this color is sunburst yellow so that is what i'm using i will have that down in the description box below as well so I'm going to go ahead and set this to music and so you can watch me do a few more of these to get a little bit more of what I'm doing here and so we'll go on from there.
Okay, so basically I'm just using these five colors for all of the rest of the petals on both flowers and just adding a little bit of the terracotta or the dark Naples ochre, kind of wherever I see it needs it. And then using that walnut for the shadowing and a um, little bit darker areas.
Okay, so now we're moving on to the leaves and I'm starting with chromium green opaque and I am just going over where I had laid down that Tombow water brush pen and um, just kind of filling that in there at the darkest part of the leaf and a little bit along that center line. I've been filling in the center line um, at the base with the same chromium green opaque and just where it looks like it might be a little bit darker I'll put some of that same color in there. Uh, and then I'm moving to earth green and just kind of shading in that green a little bit more and then I fill the rest of the center line in and then we're going to move to the green gold and just lay a little bit of that down as my accent color for these leaves along the edge. And then once I have laid those colors down I'll go back in with a little bit of the juniper, I believe, and just kind of um, give it a little bit of an accent with, with that juniper, kind of darken up some areas and give it a little bit more of a green tint to some of the areas of the leaf where I think it needs it. And then I'm gonna grab my black pencil and start doing some shading um, along the base of the leaves and on either side of that center line. Yeah, I think it's after this, after this leaf, I realize that, oh, I probably should be doing some shading in there as well. So that's when I grab that black pencil.
After I lay down that Thule Art pen in the sunburst yellow, I felt like it really just blended everything in to the background. And I wanted those um, sunflower petals to stand out a little bit more. So I went ahead and grabbed my Thule Art pen in white. And after the, the first color, the sunburst yellow, had completely dried, I went back over just the tips of the petals with the white Thule Art pen, just to kind of lighten those up.
All right, so here I'm just adding some finishing touches with that light cream Thule Art pen. And this is pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.